1936 Lincoln Cent Type 1. This coin comes with die doubling on obverse side. Graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Arguably the most famous of the several prominent double die obverse varieties for the 1936 cent, distinguished by a bold north-south spread on the letters of trust, but prominently doubled on all peripheral lettering in the date. The present premium gem is a great representative of this guidebook listed variant, freshly lustrous with unturned copper gold surfaces and only a handful of trifling flaws. It was sold for $16,100. Lot of 2000p Sacagawea Cheerios dollar accompanied with 2000 Lincoln cent. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. New Mexico artist Glenna Goodacre, 1939-2020, prepared designs for the new dollar coins that were issued in 2000, featuring Sacagawea as portrayed by Randall Teton, a member of the Shoshone Bannock tribe from southeastern Idaho. As part of their promotion of the Sacagawea dollars, the U.S. Mint provided a small number of examples to General Mills for distribution in random boxes of their Cheerios cereal. Many of those dollars were spent, but others survived, often in high grades such as this superb gem. These Cheerios dollars were struck from prototype dies featuring an eagle with boldly detailed tail feathers, unlike the circulation strike coins. This lovely example has brilliant and highly lustrous satin surfaces with the distinctive golden appearance of the Sacagawea dollar coins. This two-piece set fetched a sum of $7,200 on December 15, 2023. Among the treasures of this year is the 1964 D50C quadruple die obverse error. This unique error occurs when the coin is struck with misaligned dies, resulting in a quadrupled image on the obverse side. The quadrupling is most obvious on the U of Trust and on the right side of the 4 in the date. This variety is known as FS105, or the old FS013.6, according to the Cherry Picker's Guide. This MS65 specimen was sold for $492. 1982 P. Kennedy Half Dollar Missing Initials of Engraver, widely known as No FG Half Dollar. The missing initials are a result of dye polishing or excessive dye wear, leading to the erasure of the engraver's initials. These coins are considered mint errors and are popular among collectors. While not extremely rare, they are sought after by numismatists due to their unique nature. The value of the no FG variety can vary depending on factors such as the coin's condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. This MS66 specimen ended up selling for $381.88. 1937 D3 Legged Buffalo Nickel. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. In an attempt to polish the dies, Mint officials unintentionally lapped away the bison's front right leg and inadvertently created one of the most popular varieties in 20th century numismatics. These 1937 D3 Legged Nickels are highly sought after in all grades from good through the highest levels of Mint State, like this premium gem. This rarity fetched a sum of $52,800 at auction. 1935 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. This DDO issue is relatively popular as the only notable variety for 1935. Medium spread is evident on God We Trust, Eyelid and the Date. This issue was widely saved by the roll when released, and fully red gems are thus fairly common. Most are well struck, such as the and those from worn dies may be easy avoided. The style of three used in this coin's date was a regression to that of 1930. This specimen was sold for $576 on December 19, 2023. 1946 Brooker T. Washington Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 1946 Booker T. Washington Half Dollar is plentiful in grades through MS66, and it is occasionally seen in MS67, but finer pieces are major rarities. Vibrant, luminous mint luster exhibits a bold strike and vivid multicolor toning. Crimson, forest green, gold, lilac, and powder blue hues are among the many colors. It ended up selling for $31,200. 1972 D. Washington Quarter struck on a Philippines 5 Centimos Planchet struck in obverse. Graded in Mint State 62 by NGC. The Denver Mint struck 90 million brass 1,972 dated Philippines 5 Centimos, 71,744,000 pieces during 1972 and another 18,256,000 pieces during 1973. A5 Centimos planchet became mixed in with Washington Quarter planchets, and was fed together with a quarter planchet between Washington Quarter dies, with the 5 Centimos planchet between the obverse die and the quarter planchet. During the strike, the 5 Centimos planchet was struck into the obverse of the Washington Quarter planchet, flush with the collar die at 9 o'clock. A clad Washington Quarter should weigh 5.67 grams, and a 1972 Philippines 5 Centimos should weigh 2.5 grams. 
This era coin ended up selling for $4,560. 1972 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS67 plus read by PCGS and approved by CAC. This spectacular superb gem shows strong doubling on the date, liberty and in God we trust. The design elements are sharply struck and the impeccably preserved original red surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster. I appeal is excellent. It was sold for $7,492.50 with buyer's fee. 1951 Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The coin market was coming out of a slump in 1951 and the popular practice of saving rolls of high-grade coins was at a low point. As a result, the 1951 Jefferson Nickel is an elusive issue in high-grade condition, especially with Full Steps. Attractive shades of ice blue and champagne gold toning add to the terrific eye appeal. It ended up selling for $16,450. 1943's Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. 943 dated cents were struck on zinc-plated steel planchets, and had a gray color different than the brown to red shades of Lincoln cents struck in other years. But the present 1943s cent is a wrong planchet mint error, struck on a silver dime planchet, and stands out for its golden brown toning. Circulation wear is minimal, but portions of the coin are lightly brought up. The coin has the appearance of being struck a few degrees off center toward 2 o'clock, as trust is partial and the obverse rim is wide near 8 o'clock. It fetched a sum of $3,840. 1976s Bicentennial Quarter Mated Pair. Graded as PR66 by NGC, this mated pair consists of a quarter with a fully struck reverse and an indent of a smaller planchet on the obverse, and the struck smaller planchet with the obverse quarter design. The smaller planchet was likely intended for a dime. Mirror fields complement a bold strike and delicate iridescent toning. This two-piece lot fetched a sum of $3,840 at auction. 1940 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, for those who simply like a gorgeous silver Washington Quarter, this coin's delicate green-gold tints against pale white and blue luster offer plenty of appeal. Detail is generally strong, though as usual with these issues there is a degree of softness on the wig and the eagle's feathers. A CAC green label reaffirms the magnificent surface preservation. It was sold for $15,275. 1977 D. Eisenhower dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, a clad Eisenhower dollar should weigh 22.7 grams. Very limited number of such dollars are known struck on planchets intended for 40% silver San Francisco Bicentennial-like dollars. This is a lustrous and nicely struck mint error with peripheral straw gold toning and a few minor obverse field grazes. The strike details are remarkably strong throughout, undoubtedly from being struck in silver, which is much softer than the usual nickel. It was sold for $26,400. That's all folks. Stay tuned to CoinOz for getting frequent updates from various prestigious coin auctions. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like buttons. God's will, see you in the next episode.